good morning, good day, and good evening, everyone, uh, wherever you are. And thanks a lot for joining us today uh, at this side event on boosting transformative urban electric mobility solutions. In this session, we'll mainly talk about our uh, EU funded Solutions Plus project and its activities in Asia, Africa, and Latin America in implementing electric mobility. I'm joined here with my colleagues who will be sharing these developments from the regions. And towards the end of the session, we'll also have an intervention from our colleague from the UN environment, Alexander Kerner, and we'll discuss about the synergies between the UNEP's GEF uh, project and uh, on the electric mobility activities from the Solutions Plus project. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask them on the chat window. That's, uh, I think it should be accessible to everyone. And once the presenters have finished their presentations, I can post the questions to them. And yeah, I should also inform you that this uh, session is being recorded. And uh, for the sake of people who are unable to join this session, and uh, we can share this recording later. So to start with, I'll start the presentation with a short overview of the project. Uh, so the Solutions Plus project uh, is a project funded under the Horizon 2020 program by the European Union, and it's a four-year project. And uh, we work with around 48 uh, partners, and these partners include city governments, city networks, academia, research institutions, industry, local innovators. And together with the partners, the project uh, aims to advance the implementation of innovative electric mobility solutions in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and in Europe. And we also uh, implement the Living Labs methodology in our demonstration activities, where we bring together the city governments, the academia, the industry, uh, and the end user creating a quadruple helix structure uh, in implementing the solutions. And our main objective, uh, we focus on three major components, uh, i.e. the vehicles, the operations, and the integration. And from the uh, vehicles perspective, uh, we focus on developing, modeling, and remodeling uh, different kinds of uh, vehicles, two and three wheelers, uh, retrofitting uh, buses, uh, and uh, converting them uh, from uh, conventional to electric and also developing the business models for a larger uptake of these vehicles. And from an operations perspective, we uh, work with cities on developing innovative charging solutions and planning these uh, charging solutions where these uh, charging stations uh, ought to be, and uh, also introducing innovative uh, technology concepts like mobility as a service uh, applications that would increase the access uh, of the new mobility services and also the existing mobility options. And at the end, uh, we believe that the integration is a key element, be it for a wider uptake of sustainable transport or uh, electric mobility. And uh, integration is embedded in, in all the demonstration projects that we are going to uh, implement in the project, and you'll see uh, some of the examples in the later part of the session. And to achieve this objective, we follow a five pillar approach. So uh, firstly, we want the cities to be informed on the range of options that exist uh, to move towards electric mobility. And uh, once the cities are informed, uh, uh, we bring cities together with their peers. Uh, who have already implemented electric mobility options so that they are inspired from uh, the cities and uh, others who have implemented these electric mobility options. And together they would initiate uh, long-term partnerships with industry, governments, development agencies, uh, so that there are a wider group of stakeholders involved in implementing the electric mobility solutions. And yeah, that, that's very important because electric mobility is not just a one stakeholder uh, intervention or an activity, and it requires the involvement of all of them. And finally, uh, or 
and ultimately uh, implementing the demonstration project is where the cities, together with the various stakeholders involved, uh, would test a solution and then uh, collectively discuss on the outcome of the solution and see where there is the areas or where are the areas for improvement. And all of this happens uh, with the final impact in mind, which is, uh, of course, the low carbon future and low carbon transport, but also uh, with an idea to improve the social and economic conditions at the local and the regional level. One of the aspects in our inform uh, under the inform pillar uh, is uh, the toolbox that we develop uh, for the cities. And this is where it's a repository of information, case studies, uh, and tools that are out there for implementing electric mobility options. And uh, this is an online repository that is accessible to uh, everyone who is interested in implementing the solutions. And uh, for every example, they'll have uh, uh, related or relevant information under these. And it's a work in progress, but you can see, I think, the initial uh, uh, structure on the Solutions Plus website. In addition to the toolbox, uh, another key area or, or an instrument how we encourage cities are the capacity building activities and the peer-to-peer -peer exchange, which is under the initiate, uh, uh, inspire and initiate uh, uh, pillars. So wherein we conduct uh, webinars and self-paced uh, courses that can be taken by many uh, or the city officials and accessible uh, at no cost uh, and they can do it they can complete these courses at their leisure and upon completion they would get uh, initial understanding of uh, the basic elements of electric mobility and that can be further enriched through the regional trainings and city workshops wherein we dwell for a longer time on one topic on electric mobility uh, relevant to the region and uh, for the city we dwell upon um, one of the challenges that the city is facing in implementing uh, the electric mobility project uh, solution and work together with the experts on overcoming uh, this challenge. And for and for the innovators uh, one other thing that the solutions PLUS project offers is uh, something we call the startup incubator, because in many of the cities in emerging economies, we notice that there is already some form of electric mobility interventions uh, that are initiated by local stakeholders and innovators. And uh, working together with these local innovators can uh, help in uh, both from uh, promoting the local innovation, but also uh, creating something that is uh, tailor-made for the local situation. So the startup incubator is uh, bringing together these local innovators and the industry to develop a partnership and also further technically enhance the capabilities of the local innovators and um, improve the, uh, the local uh, tailor-made solution. In addition to the Solutions Plus project, we also work very closely with the uh, UN Environment International Energy Agency uh, through their um, GEF Global Environmental Facility funded uh, e-mobility project, and uh, it's kind of a sister project. And on the map, you see the dark green, uh, so you see the dark green uh, areas are the Solutions Plus uh, project cities and uh, the others are the GEF uh, project countries. And uh, this cooperation between these two projects helps a lot in advancing the technical uh, outputs of the projects, of both the projects, and also in implementing the demonstration projects. Yeah, another important thing is the business models that the project actually, Solutions Plus actually uh, delivers because we feel that it's very important uh, 
topic for the cities that are planning to implement uh, electric mobility solutions and this is going to be uh, as this is going to be available for all the cities uh, even after the project so in the future if any city is interested in implementing one particular solution they can uh, uh, come to the Solutions Plus website and see at the potential business models that exist for that solution. So in a way, it's the Solutions Plus project has done the spade work for, for the cities interested in implementing or embarking on implementing e-mobility solutions. So that actually brings yeah, an end to my overview presentation.